Hello everybody, Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. I am not on the DT for something blue, but I think this is just a stunning collection. So I sat down the other night and fussy cut a whole bunch of these delft items out of this collection. And I'm gonna do a quick layout um, with it. And I'm just trying to decide on which one I wanna use as my background, because I love them both. They are all um, partly done for me, which is what I like when I'm just trying to do a quick little layout. I just love the blue of this collection. The brief was that we were going to do something blue with the Pantone color of 2020, which is this kind of, this royal blue kind of color. And so the kind of name stuck, something blue, and uh, we've just run with it. So yeah, today I'm just gonna do a quick layout for you guys. So I don't even really know what photo. Sometimes I have a, a photo in mind um, when I'm using a collection. Alright, so I've just roughed up the edges with a distress tool and now I'm just literally going to have a look at the photos. I like that one because I like black and white. This is one of my favourite pictures of Pearl when she was a little girl. She's just so cute. She's about three there. Her hair's still really curly. I love these ones too. Um, she loved everything about just going out and log jumping. Log jumping was life for Pearl when she was a little girl. Um, and just going out and playing. On the logs. I don't know. I kind of think this one goes with the, I don't know, boho -y vibe of the, the Delft of this kit. Okay, so this is some of our muslin. So I'm just going to Cut myself a little section out. I want it to go smaller there and I want it to be kind of like bigger here. Okay, so these are all my little pieces that I'm just going to move my stuff over here aside. Put all of my bits that I fussy cut out. So I'm just getting a bit of a vibe of where I want some of my larger elements. And then I've got all my flower layering elements as well. I also have all of my creative cuts if I want to use them as well, but I don't think I am. I do want to use some of this lace. So this is the lace that uh, comes in the kit. I just want to cut out some of the floral flowers, individual flowers. Oh, they're very cute. So I think this guy's a bit big, but I do like this one. So when I ordered this lace, I actually thought I'd be using it exactly like I am. I never thought I'd use it as a whole piece. It was definitely going to be so we can cut out individual floral elements. All right, I think I'm just gonna start, um, oh, that's kind of stuck there, uh, gluing down some of these pieces so we can start creating the layers and elements we want to. In fact, I might glue my photo down. I never glue my photo this early. This is very brave of me, hey? So I'd never heard of the word Delft until um, Liddell introduced it to me. I just knew that it was this kind of beautiful pattern that you see on um, China and things, but I didn't know how to name. So I learnt something. It's be interesting to see how many other of you guys had no idea what Delft was. Or if it was just me. lacy bits in this layer I think. This kit also had these really cute little wooden birds which I really like which is that whole delfty feeling. These guys I might try to squeeze them in to somewhere for sure. So 
so with this uh, layer, I want to create some layers. I need some circles. some layers on all of my flowers Beautiful. Put this in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep building my layers kind of up and down and across as I go. Put this guy over there. So I do also have bring that down a little bit. Um, these blue flowers too. I might pull some of oh, pull some of these apart. But I do like the actual flowers. I want to keep the stamens, so I don't want to lose them. But this bit here, Great. okay, I'm gonna fold it in half like this. And I'm going to put it under here like that. So this guy's I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of like crinkle it up. Oh, don't drop it. And then oh. I got glue on the photo, which is not ideal. Ah, better. We're gonna create some layers with the flowers over here as well. Might need some more of those lace ones. Okay, some more lace coming down here. So I just need to bring it down because I kind of want it to go like that. So I'm just going to bring some of the height down here. So I am continuing just to build out my, I'm doing kind of this thing. Um, so there's a couple of little spots on this side. I actually think that one can go down the bottom. Yeah, that's cool. However, this side is dirty, so that side can go down. I feel like it just needs a couple of bits in here. I might put another uh, one of these. Yeah, that looks good. Let's flat. Okay, so now, as you see over here, I've got leaves and bitsies. I really want to stick these on in various spots just by folding them up first coming in and adding leaves I do you think this side needs some more of the white ones I've got some blue leaves as well this guy in here somewhere mm. 
Now I fussy cut this out and it says my heart. I just love it and I don't know if that's going to be my title or not. So I got my uh, clear sparkle brush. Taking out the little disposable piece, locking that back on and giving it a good shake. Very good shake. Okay. I am just going to, see where it says push? I'm just going to push that until, until it comes, oh, there we go, it's coming through. So I've got like a little puddle there now. I'm just going to clean that up. Helgi, pick me up a tissue. Okay. Try to get the sparkle off the bottom. All right, so I'm just going to paint my uh, white ones so that they shimmer. All of everything that's kind of got a, a white to it that I'd like to shimmer, I'm literally just going to paint it. All that little garden little cutie. And just give it a very cute shimmery effect. Spin it around. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but let me try to show you. See the ones I've done down the bottom, how they're shimmering? I've soon learnt what's not glued down because when I picked it up, <laughs> they all fell off. Uh, you'll see when you do yours. If you've got the kit, you're getting a clear shimmer brush in there anyway, and you'll be all good. Let's look at this little bit as well. Oh, Pearl reference, it looks pretty on the blue one. Can you see it on the blue there? Very shimmery. Um, very good, this side over here. Let's just do some of the clear. Did you want to have a go, pal? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you some when I'm finished. Yes, I do have a little helper here. Okay, that is just gonna dry. Um, I haven't used my creative cut, so I might leave them up there. I have got so many things I can use as titles with this collection. I've got the Delight, which is beautiful. I've got all of these. Actually, which one? Wish, shine, everything, happiness, dreams, darling. Oh, I like them too. Or this one, my original one, which I wanted to go read my heart. Okay, I'm just gonna give Pearl some that she can try over here. I think we're gonna tape these up. So these are our new square um, squares and strips. So there's two different sizes. I'm going to use the small one. To tape up these. And then I'm just going to double them. So I want this to sit higher. Peel off the backing off my strips. Then I'm going to also add a little bit of 450 just so it lasts for the next hundred years. And then my. Okay, what else does it need, Pearly? I'm thinking about putting some pearls on there only because it's a page about pearl. What do you think? No. I think I'm going to put a couple. Can I do some? I'm just going to put a couple of our iridescent pearls inside the centres of some of my flowers. Can I do some? You can have some. Yeah. And put them inside of yours. See how much better that is? Oh, yeah. I can have a slide of arms to it down. Alrighty, I think I'm finished. I think this is all done. That's Pearly when she was three. You're looking really cute there, Pearl. And it says my heart because you are just a stunning little girl. You used to love log jumping, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So much. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you love this collection. It's called Something Blue. I hope you've liked all our collections this year. Um, we've enjoyed creating them and we try making them different every month. And the blueness of this is beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is actually matching washi tape that we uh, made with the same patterns as the papers. I haven't used it on this layout, but that's in the kit, but you can buy them separately anyway. 
Anyway, that is uh, everything for today. No, Pearl wants to steal my flowers. She can't have them, so I want to do another layout later with this collection because it's so pretty. And until um, next time, bye.